This is the Dustbuster Electronics designed to fit the Roddenberry Dustbuster kit. This particular Dustbuster Electronics circuit board has a, an optional iPod shuffle battery installed to give you the rechargeable battery option. This does not come with the standard kit but can be purchased separately. You can also use the CR2032 dual coin cell holder that's provided with each of our electronics kits. Because of the nature of the, of the resin tip that comes with the kit, two red LEDs are used as the, for the firing tip to make it bright enough. To operate the electronics, you simply need to press the left button, which will start the power level meter rising. The bottom button is the fire button. Levels 1 to 4 will give you a stun sound. Levels 5, 6, and 7, and 8 will give you a heavy stun. And levels 9 and 10 will give you a kill sound. Going beyond that, one more push will give you the diagnostic mode. To get the overload sequence, you simply hold down the right button. After the three beeps, you let go and you press the left button once. And the overload sequence will commence after about 10 seconds. When you are building your kit, the resin piece, the red resin piece for the front of the phaser should be modified to accommodate the two red LEDs. A uh, hole should be, uh, be drilled far enough in to allow for the, uh, the lights to fit inside. If the phaser electronics is left on for more than 60 seconds, the auto shutoff will engage and turn the power off.